tane tatlı köpek. Senin mi? Evet evet ben köpek. Ben köpek. Kim? Benim köpek. Ben. Ha, köpek. Was it familiar to you? I can imagine how difficult it can be to speak a language with thousands of suffixes. You may be thinking so hard to find the right structure or even looking for the right suffix. You might be able to write very good Turkish sentences. The reason why your writing is better than your speaking is that you have time to think when you write. But when we talk, we often don't have enough time to think. So how can you improve your speaking skills? Don't worry, I have some secrets to share with you. I wrote all the tips in a PDF file. Make sure checking it by downloading it via the link below. Of course, practice comes first. As they say, set a tiff to catch a tiff. Perhaps the first thing to do is to speak Turkish. When you practice speaking with a native speaker, you will be forced to speak Turkish, especially if you find someone who doesn't speak your native tongue. After a while, the way you talk will become automatic as you push yourself to speak. So where can you find a Turkish native speaker? There are many paid websites where you can find language partners. But to be honest, when I was learning English, I found them mostly through social media. You can look for communities or language exchange groups on social media sites like Facebook, Instagram and Twitter to find a language partner. If you prefer to learn with a teacher, get a quick feedback on your language usage and progress systematically, I have a better suggestion for you. You. you can sign up for our new VIP program. This way you can improve your Turkish both by taking conversation classes with a native Turkish speaker and by interacting with other language learners in a community. If you want to learn more about this, you can visit turkishla.com for more details. Anyway, whether with a teacher or a Turkish speaker, regular conversations will help you think better in Turkish and get more ease with spontaneous speaking. Although conversing with native speakers could be difficult at first, your confidence will progressively increase. Your nervousness about speaking Turkish lessens as you get more at ease in everyday interactions. Of course, it's not always easy to find a native speaker to talk to you. But don't worry, you can always talk to yourself. Self-talk is a useful technique for enhancing your Turkish speaking skills. By talking to yourself, you can get comfortable with using words and expressions that you would be hesitant to use in interactions with others. It can help you internalize proper usage and increase your comfort level while creating phrases that follow grammar rules. So how can you talk to yourself? You can say out loud what you think in your mind. You can vocalize the things you do. For example, Şimdi ellerimi yıkıyorum. Biraz acıktım. Bir şeyler yemeliyim. Sandviç yemek istiyorum. Ekmek lazım. Peynir, domates. You can also practice the vocabulary you learned and use new words by doing this. But try not to do this tip outside, otherwise people may think you are crazy. It's totally safe to try it at home though. Now, I am giving you the tip that you will enjoy the most, watching Turkish series and reading Turkish books. It's not enough to simply practice speaking in order to become fluent in a language. You should also work on your receptive abilities. Reading and listening are the most effective ones. While getting lost in the romance of Turkish TV series, you will be exposed to authentic spoken Turkish. As a result, you will learn more about common expressions and conversational patterns. This helped me a lot when I was learning English. All the TV series and movies I watched were very helpful in teaching me both pronunciation and what to say in which situation. But I'm telling you, Turkish TV series are addictive. So try not to spend all your time watching Turkish TV series. We have two more tips ahead of us. By the way, what's your favorite Turkish TV series? Let me know in the comments. Some of you may not like reading books. I wasn't a child who read a lot of books either. But what if I told you that Turkish novels are as exciting and full of intrigue as Turkish TV series? All the books I read while learning English taught me how to use grammar in daily speech. You can think of this as engraving in my head the rule of adding s to the verb after he, she, it, for example. Speaking of Turkish, the more you read books, the more familiar you become with conjugation. Especially if you read it out loud, you can be be sure that the personal endings will not be erased from your mind, ever. Reading aloud also enables you to focus on pronunciation and helps you understand where to apply stress and emphasis in sentences. Two birds with one stone.
We should also remember that reading not only allows you to learn new words, but also allows you to contextualize them. When you see words in context, you will recall them more easily and quickly. You can record yourself talking. Did I mention that you all can be great vloggers? Recording vlogs while speaking Turkish or recording audio of yourself explaining anything can be a great method to improve your speaking skills. Try rehearsing speaking in a relaxed settings by recording yourself. You can talk about your day, how you feel, what your dreams are or what you want to do tomorrow. It can be anything. Speaking with others will probably become easier for you as you develop confidence by doing this. The best part is you can also assess your spoken Turkish by recording. You can catch your mistakes, note the parts that can be improved and in the end you can make adjustments for better performance. Imagine the day you become fluent in Turkish. Wouldn't it be great to watch yourself when you were struggling to speak Turkish? Here's a tip to show off your acting skills. Role play. To simulate real world scenarios, role playing is a great option. To improve your speaking skills, you can practice speaking in situations similar to those you would find in workplace, in social situations or in daily life. Or if you want to make it more fun, you can pretend to be a character from your favorite Turkish TV series. Who wouldn't want to be Nihan, Serkan or Ferhunde? Or wait, no one wants to be Ferhunde, right? Anyway, by doing this, you gain the ability to respond quickly, think through unexpected situations and adapt your language use to fit the role and scenarios that are being given. In the end, you can handle different conversational situations and gain more confidence in speaking. Learning a new language takes effort and time. Never forget that you are making progress with every word you learn, with every new structure, with every attempt you make to speak. Being kind to yourself is the golden rule in improving your speaking skills. I hope these five suggestions will help you on your Turkish speaking journey. Do you know any other methods to improve speaking skills? Please let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching this video. I have compiled these suggestions into a PDF for you. You can download it from the link below and read it if you wish. Also, don't forget to check our courses. I hope all you can speak Turkish very well very soon. Görüşürüz!